Job 4, Eliphaz. Then Eliphaz the Thiamite replied, If someone ventures a word with you, will you be impatient? But who can keep from speaking? Think how you have instructed many, how you have strengthened feeble hands. Your words have supported those who stumbled. You have strengthened faltering knees, but now trouble comes to you, and you are discouraged. It strikes you, and you are dismayed. Should not your pi piety be your confidence, and your blame is always your hope? Consider now, who being innocent, has never perished? They were the upright, never destroyed? As I observe, those who plow evil and those who sow trouble reap it. At the breath of God they perish. At the blast of his anger they are no more. The lions may roar and growl, yet the teeth of the great lions are broken. The lions perish for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lionesses are scattered. A word was secretly brought to me. My ears caught a whisper of it. Amid dis disquieting dreams in the nights, when deep sleep falls on people, fear and trembling seize me. They made all my bones shake. A spirit glided past my face, and the hair of my body stood on end. It stopped, but I could not tell what it was. A form stood before my eyes, and heard a hushed voice. Can a mortal be more righteous than God? Can even a strong man be more pure than his maker? If God places no trust in his servants, if he charges his angels charges his angels with error, how much more those who live in houses of clay, whose foundations are in the dust, who are crushed more readily than a moth. Between dawn and dusk they are broken to pieces, unnoticed, they perish forever. They are not the cords of their tent pulled are are not the cords of their tent pulled up, so they they die without wisdom.